a former Israeli official says Tel Aviv has killed most of the people behind the deadly attacks on its embassy and a Jewish center in Argentina in the 90s. Itzhak Aviran, who was the Israeli envoy in Argentina before retiring in 2000, made the remarks in an interview with Argentine media. He said Israel's secret service agents were responsible for the killings. Argentinian courts blamed Iran for the army bombing in which 85 people died in Buenos Aires. Tehran, however, has strongly rejected the accusations. Iran and Argentina signed a memorandum of understanding last year to jointly probe the bombing in the Argentinian capital. Franklin Lam is an international lawyer. He's with us now live from Beirut to share his thoughts with us. The news that we had, Mr. Lam, is uh, the former Israeli envoy saying now that Tel Aviv, or rather Mossad, has killed most of those it says are responsible for the army of bombings. First of all, what's the significance of this admission? Well, uh, uh, it is significant, and you used the right word. It's an admission by uh, Isaac uh, Avrian, uh, for seven years the ambassador to Argentina from uh, Israel, to admit, quote, that the Mossad has killed most of those who were under suspicion of this crime. No interest in a judicial process, uh, just the fact uh, in a sort of, boastful, uh, sort of boost, uh, boasting uh, fashion that the Mossad uh, eliminated them, murdered them, in fact. Uh, the history shows us that from Argentina uh, to Zambia, from the USA to Uganda, these rogue hit uh, teams of Mossad have been wandering the globe. No accountability so far under international law. What uh, is remarkable, too, is the chutzpah of this former ambassador accusing the Argentinians of dragging their feet uh, with the judicial process when there's no suggestion that the Zionists have shown up with any of their evidence of the hits and uh, who they murdered to contribute to the file, the investigative file, if you will. So it's a remarkable admission. I don't know that anybody's going to try to take him to the ICC. I don't know if anybody in the U.S. government is going to demand the cutoff of all uh, U.S. aid to Israel, which is absolutely required under the 1964 and Assistance Act. We cannot fund criminal enterprises like this. Obviously, we do it, um, but th that's no excuse for continuing to allow it to go on when we have such blatant admissions as this uh, former uh, uh, Israeli official uh, has uh, uh, confessed to. And that's what it is, a confession. Franklin Lam, international lawyer with us there, live from Beirut. Mr. Lam, thank you very much.